So good morning everyone, it's a Sunday morning and uh, I know many of you have uh, woke up extra early to join us today. Today I'm so blessed to have Dr. Farah Wahida with us. You can see that her skin is just glowing and we are all like, you know, looking half dead in the morning while her skin is glowing. <laughs> So um, she's going to be talking about a subject that is close to her heart and obviously she's a, she's a specialist in this area, just looking at her skin again. So uh, she's going to share how you can look cantik berseri di hari raya soon. Raya is coming. So I pass it on to you, Dr. Farah. Thank you. Hi, good morning everyone. Thank you, Kavita. Thank you, Kak Ikin for inviting me. Well, Paksa me to do this actually. Uh, I'm not actually a pakar or specialist in this, but um, I've been using essential oil as uh, skincare for quite a long time since um, maybe since 2009 because um, I have problems with uh, my skin back then lah. Masih tu muda lagi, so jerawat naik, and uh, I was quite um apa uh, kulit berminyak and everything kan so i tried uh, multiple uh, store bought um, uh, products but uh, they don't work for me uh, sometimes they even cost me more harm lah uh, and i i decided uh, by then i should try and make my own skincare so uh, i started basically i started with um, carrier oils and then baru I kenal uh, essential oils uh, circa 2009 lah so um, my first carrier oil was argan oil and my first um, essential oil was geranium uh, and also lemon lah so after I started making my own skincare I find out that uh, my skin becomes better dia jadi uh, lagi sihat and I realize that it's the the um, synthetic chemicals in our skincare yang kita beli tu yang maybe that that what caused my skin to have breakouts and everything lah. So today uh, I kongsi sikit lah uh, pasal uh, eh sorry sekejap. Oh okay okay. Yeah I kongsi sikit lah. Why uh, should you make your own skincare? First you can trust yourself, can you trust whatever you put in your skincare? You know whatever you put is uh free from any synthetic chemicals. Uh, you yang yang uh, decide apa yang nak bubuh dalam skincare you sendiri, can and then it's actually cost effective. Um, just imagine a uh, one one bottle of EO can last you quite a long time. Maknanya you boleh buat banyak batches of uh essential uh, banyak batches of skincare from the one um, one bottle of EO. So you tak payah nak kena beli every month uh, except macam uh, you nak add on other essential oils lah. And then uh, walaupun you kata macam Immortal, kata Immortal is quite expensive right? But one bottle of Immortal you can dilute it up to 10 times. So uh, dapatlah 10 bottle. 10 bottle tu tahan about uh, one year. So Memang actually it's cost effective daripada beli sendiri. Kalau uh, macam my mother, dia pernah guna um, high-end uh, uh, high-end skincare brands lah. So, they are very expensive actually. After I start buat skincare, my mom kata, ah, I want to convert to your skincare because uh, it's more cost effective. And it's uh, actually uh, lagi berkesan lah daripada pakai yang store-bought. Uh, and for me, Making my own skincare is fun and uh, it it enhance uh, it 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 macam ni ah uh, dia bantu I jadi lagi kreatif lah. For my children ah uh, dia suka tolong I macam my eldest son dia suka datang and tolong I buat uh, bath bombs buat uh, scrub and then dia akan tanya mummy ah uh, mama are you are you actually a scientist? <laughs> so dia ingat I I buat tu macam mixing things together kan macam scientist so uh, bagus lah untuk bonding with our children as well kan and um, it's empowering because you know what you put in your skincare is what you need and um, you ada full control of what you put in your skincare and lastly you can start 
your own business like I did uh, I started Avicina for five years already and it's fun I, I love uh, making my own skincare so um, and in this session I will uh, discuss more about um, about uh, the, the absorption of essential oil uh, and also for usage of uh, carrier oils sebab uh, I tahu ramai yang confused dengan carrier oils kan macam nak guna carrier oil apa, nak guna FCO apa, uh, fractionated coconut oil je ke ataupun boleh guna oil lain kan so um, kalau kita tengok our skin kan sorry our skin uh, consists of epidermis and also dermis the derm epidermis is the outermost layer and the dermis is the innermost layer so whatever yang masuk dalam epidermis yang boleh lalu epidermis akan sampai ke dermis sampai ke uh, the innermost layer of your um, of your skin lah so epidermis ni uh, adalah lipophilic uh, barrier maknanya dia suka oil sebab tu kita kena pakai carrier oil untuk bawa uh, your essential oil into the skin kalau you tak pakai carrier oil your your essential oil is actually volatile tau so dia akan uh, evaporate instead of going into the skin membazirlah kan membazir satu lepas tu you tak dapat um, the whole uh, benefit of the essential oil so make sure kalau you nak pakai oil always dilute macam kat Ikin selalu cakap and um, you have to choose carrier oils yang sesuai dengan kulit you i will explain later about that lah Okay, uh, types of skincare, products you can make at home, macam-macam uh, cleansers, boleh, I buat cleanser I sendiri, uh, body butter and balms, um, homemade soap and shampoo, yang ni you can tanya Belle, yeah. Belle pandai buat, <laughs> scrubs, deodorant, uh, deodorant pun sekarang I dah change my deodorant to uh, immortal, <laughs> expensive deodorant but I love it because it works so good, better than my old deodorant and also Uh, you can make a mask and um, our focus today is for uh, making face oil lah, uh, moisturizer and face oil. Okay, why should you use oil on skin eh? Okay, kalau tengok, um, skin kita ni macam brick and mortar. So the brick uh, itself is the skin and also mortar tu adalah oh. oil that um, that uh, macam hold the the skin together. So oil is important because your skin memang kena perlu ada oil. So as we age, uh, the skin will produce less oil lah. Uh, and bila dah kurang oil, kurang mortar tu, the the brick will separate it. Faham tak? Uh, the skin will be separated and water can be lost uh, transdermally. So that's why orang lagi tua, lagi <laughs> lagi berusia, uh, skin dia akan lagi dry. Uh, and kalau macam muda-muda ataupun orang ada oily skin uh, Selalunya bila kita kulit kita oily kita akan uh, rasa macam nak guna uh, harsh skincare Yang nak strip off the natural oil Kita nak guna uh, apa macam uh, alcohol based products Actually bila kita guna uh, alcohol based products It will strip off the natural oil And your skin will actually be drier Bila skin you dah jadi makin kering akan ada feed, negative feedback mechanism we call it negative feedback mechanism that will kick in and produce more oils so actually it's counterproductive to uh, strip your skin of its natural oil uh, sebab tu kita tak boleh guna uh, apa skincare yang harsh lah actually so that uh, we will retain our natural oil faham tak setakat ni? faham kan? okay okay think about this kenapa uh, Carrier oils are the most important thing lah. Uh, selalu kita uh, sibuk nak pilih essential oils kan for um, nak tahu benefit of essential oils. Tapi actually carrier oils ni lagi macam penting lah as equivalent as uh, essential oils. Sebab apa? Kata dalam aromatherapy treatment, kita akan guna up to 2% essential oil. Dan 98% carrier oil. So carrier oil tu lagi banyak kita guna daripada essential oil kan uh, And sama juga macam dalam facial treatment Facial treatment kita akan guna around 99% carrier oil Only 1% essential oil Jadi think about this lah That's why kita kena pilih uh, carrier oil yang sesuai dengan kulit kita So how to choose carrier oils 
Okay, carrier oils uh, always choose the highest grade carrier oil possible. Uh, choose cold press carrier oil. Sebab ada uh, in the market yang murah-murah sangat. Macam you tengok yang Shopee dekat China, yang datang dari China semua tu kan. Dia tak guna cold press method. Mungkin dia guna um, solvent extraction. Dia guna um, ada extraction method yang um, tak retain the oil punya uh, beneficial properties. Okay. And then uh, choose uh, unrefined. Unrefined oil, kalau you tak nak guna oil untuk aromatherapy purpose, maksudnya you nak guna oil tu memang untuk skin purpose, you boleh pilih unrefined oil. Unrefined oil ni, beza dia ialah dia akan ada uh, bau sikit lah. Macam kalau you beli uh, almond oil ataupun avocado oil, dia ada bau dia lain sikit. So kalau you nak guna untuk aromatherapy, um, macam nak guna untuk untuk kata uh, untuk aromatherapy lah, uh, kalau you guna unrefined oil, dia akan kacau sikit dengan bau uh, essential oil you. Tapi kalau untuk skincare, uh, for me, you use unrefined oil sebab dia ada all the richness and the strength of the of the carrier oil yang you patut dapat untuk you punya skin lah. And then you have to uh, take into consideration your skin condition. Uh, based on your skin condition, nanti I akan tunjuk macam mana you akan pilih uh, carrier oil yang sesuai untuk you and uh, comedogenic skill. Uh, yang ni yang uh, agak penting actually sebab ada orang kata, eh kenapa I pakai oil uh, menyebabkan kulit I jadi breakout? Uh, okay, sebab jangan jangan salahkan you punya essential oil dulu. Sebenarnya essential oil you jalan-jalan lah menyebabkan breakout. Yang you kena salahkan dulu ialah carrier oil. Is your carrier oil of choice Uh, sesuai dengan kulit you. Adakah dia uh, comedogenic skill dia tinggi? Kalau comedogenic skill dia tinggi, it will cause um, apa nama dia panggil uh, uh, clog the pores. Nanti I akan explain later about it. Eh. Okay, how to choose your carrier oil. Macam I cakap tadi, you have to know your area of concern. Sorry lah, slide ni bersipas sikit. So area of concern you sama ada Uh, untuk face, facial use ataupun others lah. Kalau facial use, uh, you have to know your skin concern. Oily skin ke acne prone uh, ataupun dry aging skin. Ada normal skin pun kan. So kalau oily skin, oily skin ni kita um, advise to use uh, high linoleic acid uh, punya carrier oil. I will explain later about high linoleic acid ni. Kalau dry aging skin, kita akan guna high oleic acid. So, ada beza antara dua oil ni. Kalau you biasa main dengan uh, carrier oil, so you akan tahu certain oils absorb better. Certain oils uh, macam uh, macam dia uh, ada ada residual dekat your skin kan. So, selalunya oils yang absorb laju ni adalah linoleic acid oils yang tinggi dalam linoleic acid. Kalau oil yang macam uh, you rasa masih ada uh, residual dekat kulit tu adalah oleic acid. Okay. Ini general lah. Okay. For other usage, uh, for massage, maybe use oils like sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, uh, refined coconut oil. Yang ni boleh guna refined coconut oil. Uh, ataupun uh, fractionated coconut, uh, sorry, uh, refined coconut oil lah. Kalau fractionated coconut oil, dia absorb uh, lagi laju ke dalam kulit sebab dia dah reduce dia punya fatty acid chain. So, better kalau nak guna fractionated coconut oil, guna for aromatherapy purpose. And kalau nak guna for emollient, maknanya untuk moisturizing kan, uh, I prefer butters. I always love butter. Uh, Shea butter, mango butter and cocoa butter tu memang, I memang suka lah yang tu. Uh, kalau um, Shea butter, usually I will use for uh, eczematous skin. Sebab Shea butter ni dia ada uh, anti-inflammatory properties. So, it's better than cocoa butter lah. Kadang-kadang orang kata nak guna mana butter yang mana kan. This is actually another topic yang panjang kalau nak cerita pasal butters. Sebab butters pun banyak butters. Uh, another type of oil you can use is uh, castor oil uh, as emollient. Because castor oil ni dia pekat. So, usually I will dilute with other oils as well. So that you can spread it better dia memang akan stay on your skin lama jugalah kalau castor oil. Okay, uh, this is what I said just now lah. Uh, oleic acid versus uh, linoleic acid. Okay, oleic acid ni, dia monosaturated fatty acid ataupun omega-9 fatty acid. Uh, these oils, uh, actually, yang macam I cakap tadi, dia duduk, dia dia um, macam dia tak absorb 
uh, laju dalam kulit lah. Uh, so oils that high in oleic acid are almond oil, avocado, camellia, olive and marula and also moringa oil. Uh, kalau linoleic acid is unsaturated fatty acid, fatty acid omega 6 uh, omega 6 fatty acid. So uh, some of the oils are hemp seed, grape seed oil, and safflower oil. For me the oils yang I, yang linoleic acid ni macam drier oils tau. Dia macam tak moisturizing sangat dia drier. So, uh, facial oils, nak tahu which oil uh, works best for you. This is like a general rule lah. Tak adalah kata macam uh, hard and fast rule. Tapi this is general rule lah. So, for oily skin, uh, oily skin, dia, uh, orang yang oily skin ni, dia low in linoleic acid and high in oleic acid dekat dalam uh, skin surface lipids dia. So, um, it will cause the sebum to become sticky and thick. So, you akan perasan uh, you ada clogged pores kan. Uh, jadi, uh, naik jerawat. So, orang yang ada oily skin, elok guna linoleic acid. Um, I mean, uh, oils high in linoleic acid. Popular oils such as uh, tamanu oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, uh, black cumin. I pernah guna black cumin and uh, I think it's very nice lah. I suka black cumin oil. Cuma bau dia tak best sangat lah. Uh, safflower, prickly, pea, prickly pear seed oil ni favorite uh, Kak Ikin. Uh, EPO, Warage and also rose seed oil. Kalau dry skin, dry skin ni uh, selalunya low in oleic acid. Okay, uh, and high in linoleic acid. So, you use oleic acid. Ada siapa-siapa tak faham tak pasal linoleic and oleic acid ni? Anyone? Tak ada jawapan. Okay, faham kot kan? So, ingat the rule is if you have oily skin, you use linoleic acid. If you have dry skin, you use oleic acid. Okay? So, if for aging skin, uh, you look for oils that are both hydrating and also rich in antioxidant. Uh, with minerals and nutrients that can help uh, with sun damage, fright fight free radicals and stimulate uh, skin production. Um, popular oils includes argan. Argan ni memang orang panggil liquid gold lah kan because of the antioxidant properties. Uh, Rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is very good because um, dia actually dia uh, skin renewal. Dia boleh uh, promote skin renewal. And also dia boleh promote uh, skin's own um, uh, apa? Uh, yelah renewal lah and moringa, rice bran oil, avocado oil, and also flaxseed oil. For sensitive skin, okay, now for sensitive skin, macam ni selalu break out, uh, look for oils yang ada anti-inflammatory, soothing, and prote protecting properties yang akan moisturize the skin as well as soothe the irritation. Uh, one of the oils that I, can, I suka sangat adalah grapeseed oil lah because uh, grapeseed oil ni dia dia memang anti-inflammatory. Kata kalau kulit you very angry selalu macam breakout, grape seed oil is great. I think Bell use grape seed oil, kan Bell? Oh, tak ada. <laughs> okay. For normal skin type. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Hi, Bell. Okay, for normal skin type. Normal skin type ni, um, actually for me, nak balance the normal skin type tu lagi susah daripada oily or Uh, uh, dry skin. Sebab normal skin ni memang kita kata normal kan. Tapi kadang-kadang uh, ada orang yang normal skin tapi it's more on the uh, oily side. Ada orang yang dry skin more on um, uh, normal skin more on dry side. So the key for normal skin is to find balance between oils uh, with high linoleic and oleic acid content. So uh, selalunya for normal skin I will use mixture of oil. Mixture of oil is always recommended actually because you can always play around with the ratio of your specific oil lah. Macam my favorite oil, uh, jojoba, argan and rosehip. I always play around with this oil lah. Kalau macam I buat untuk orang pun, I can play around with this oil. Sebab for me, jojoba, jojoba is actually liquid wax tau. Dia mimic your own uh, skin sebum. So, Uh, dia is jojoba is actually very balancing for your skin. Argan, you need argan uh, because it's high in uh, oleic acid content. So argan will act as emollient. Dia will act as moisturizer. They moisturize your skin. And rosehip, 
I love rose hip for its skin renewal properties. Uh, ada orang kata rose hip ni comedogenic level dia high. I pernah baca years ago lah pasal rose hip uh, cause clock pores. Tapi recently I read that uh, rose hip is actually good for uh, oily skin and also uh, skin yang inflamed because uh, sekarang ni dia punya ratio is around uh, one if I'm not mistaken for rose hip lah dia punya comedogenic. I will uh, apa, discuss about comedogenic level later lah. Okay, carry all examples like ni examples of oils that uh, you senang dapat. Uh, jojoba like I said just now is dia ada close resemblance to skin's own sebum. So it's actually, dia bukan oil, dia tank. Dia uh, liquid wax tau. So how cool is that? It's liquid wax, bukan your oil pun. Uh, jojoba ni ada balance of oleic and linoleic acid. It's very balanced, 50-50. Almost lah, almost 50-50. It's soothing, uh, penetrating and suitable for all skin types. Uh, and also it's suitable for acne skin because uh, it has anti-inflammatory uh, properties. Comedogenic level dia 2. So for oils, comedogenic level less than 2 is highly, um, uh, is good lah for your skin actually if it's less than 2. Kalau more than 2, dia boleh cause clock pores. Okay, for rose hip, rose hip, uh, dia ada high percentage of linoleic acid versus oleic acid. So it's good for uh, oily skin. It's non-greasy, uh, loaded with antioxidant. Dia ada vitamin A, retinoic acid ni. And retinoic acid kan is very good uh, to reduce uh, acne and inflammation kan. And uh, it has all three essential oil, uh, essential fatty acid like omega-3, omega-6 and omega-9 lah. Uh, it helps in regeneration of mature skin, scarring, burns, uh, reduce redness, dark spots and uh, evening skin tone. I rasa rose hip ni favourite Dr. Izzam kot. Dr. Izzam suka rose hip kan? Sebab uh, apa? Dr. Izzam add dengan uh, immortal if I'm not mistaken. So rose hip is great especially for mature skin and uh, comedogenic level is one uh, which is good. Okay. Uh, argan oil. Okay. Argan oil ni, kalau you tengok dia, uh, ada higher ratio of oleic acid than linoleic acid. So, higher ratio of oleic acid is good for dry skin. I always put uh, extra argan oil in my mom's punya facial oil sebab kulit dia very dry. So, I will put the ratio around 50% of argan oil so that uh, it will it will help with the with the ni lah um moisturizing the skin lah and it's powerful antioxidant argan oil ni memang kalau you baca pasal argan oil you know that um it's technically liquid gold lah because it's so high in antioxidant it's very good uh and dia ada high source of vitamin E uh and comedogenic level dia one je it's very good for dry to normal skin types uh, and avocado oil. Avocado oil ni, dia uh, very high in oleic, oh, sorry, oleic acid lah, oleic acid content, up to 80%. So, kalau kulit you sangat dry, kulit you memang uh, macam, I tahu I pernah jumpa orang yang scaly skin kan. So, you can try avocado oil. Avocado oil ni, dia absorbs deeply into the layers of the skin and super hydrating uh, as well as uh, anti-aging. Uh, and dia ada slightly greenish uh, tinge kan because it's rich in chlorophyll which is antibacterial as well and however uh, however ada catch dia avocado oil ni comedogenic level dia 3 so anything more than 2 uh, dia boleh clock pores i mean the the percent the 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 percentage of uh, apa dia akan cost uh, for clogging to higher lah kalau avocado oil. So what I do with avocado oil, I always uh, mix with other oils. Uh, you mix with other oils yang lower comedogenic level so that you will balance out. Uh, jadi macam tak adalah di clock pore sangat. Okay? So uh, ni I cakap tadi, comedogenic scale. Okay, comedogenic scale ni... Uh, rank by how likely that any specific ingredients such as oil and butters uh, will clog pores. So zero won't clog pores, uh, pores at all. Uh, one very low, uh, two moderate low, uh, three dah moderate uh, likelihood to clog pores. Five lah memang clog pores lah. So avoid lah yang tinggi-tinggi ni. Uh, ambil yang two and below. Example, coconut oil. 
ha aku kena oil for tau that's why dia orang kata kat ai kenapa dia pakai aku kena oil kulit dia break out tadi tanya balik you pakai aku kena oil ke pakai fractionated aku kena oil aku kena oil memang boleh cause skin break out sebab dia punya uh, comedogenic level dia very high is for uh, however you can use coconut oil for body massage ke jangan guna untuk kulit muka kalau you rasa kulit you memang akan break out gila punya uh, but our fractionated coconut oil the level is around 2 to 3 which is fair you boleh guna untuk kulit uh, muka juga uh, tapi bergantung pada kesesuaian kalau you rasa macam it's too rich for you Uh, choose other oils lah, janganlah pakai fractionated coconut oil pun guna untuk badan ataupun untuk um, aromatherapy purpose je uh, for grapeseed oil uh, one, jojoba two, uh, grapeseed oil ni dia air bagi air dia dry oil lah air guna untuk uh, acne prone skin selalunya kalau grapeseed oil uh, jojoba, I love jojoba jojoba ni memang very balancing and prickly pear seed oil kat ikin, one to two je uh, so it's good for you Uh, hemp seed oil is zero tapi susah nak dapat kan bell susah nak dapat sekarang <laughs> because kita tak boleh nak nak uh, import hemp seed oil so i put in the source here uh, for you to uh, take a look at uh, apa comedogenic level of the oil lah kalau you nak beli oil you tengok dulu berapa comedogenic level of the oil before you buy supaya you tak menyesal lah nanti kan so uh, we proceed to essential oils for the skin okay essential oil for the skin i uh, my first essential oil was geranium lah actually um, i love geranium for its balancing properties because my skin was actually very um, um, oily dulu macam kalau dekat-dekat nak period tu dia akan break out uh, very angry skin so i use uh, geranium geranium is like great for my skin because it's so balancing and then Uh, because I was quite uh, athletic back then So I guna, uh, kulit I gelap sikit lah uh, Terbakar, so I guna lemon for my skin um, Tapi, citrus oils ni uh, Jangan guna sebelum you pergi uh, berjemur bawah matahari pakai, Jangan pakai siang lah basically Sebab uh, citrus oil ni can cause your skin to burn So it's quite dangerous, use it with caution Kalau you nak guna citrus oil on skin Uh, for uh, clear complexion macam uh, kalau ada night breakouts i will use tea tree uh, for spot spot treatment lah uh, only on the on the uh, acne prone area and then a uh, frank i find out that frank is much better than tea tree uh, in terms of reducing acne macam kalau i naik acne 1 2 kan i akan guna frank because uh, frank ni dia lambat sikit tau turun uh, dia punya dia punya uh, apa uh, turun bengkak turun surut tu lambat sikit tapi dia tak lift any um, any scar so i love frank because of that and then frank ni uh, dia promote clear complexion i dilute frank sikit kalau masa hari yang i rasa kulit air macam nampak angry, nampak um, the pores are large so I will dilute some frank and pakai the whole face sekejap je, kulit you akan nampak macam pakai bedak <laughs> it's so nice, I love frank uh, because dia ada astringent properties and then uh, you can also use lavender uh, on skin uh, juniper berry, uh, this is I just find out that juniper berry is good for uh, promoting um, clear complexion Geranium uh, yang saya tadi, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is also very good uh, for clear complexion. Actually, uh, eucalyptus ni ada dalam HD clear yang HD clear um, range by DoTerra. Dia ada letak eucalyptus. Selalu so, kita ingat eucalyptus for for breathing. Macam tu je kan, actually it's good for skin as well. Darkless fur, uh, fur I tak pernah try lagi. Tapi, I found that, uh, I baca it's good for skin as well, untuk clear complexion. Uh, Cypress, actually, Cypress ni, um, dia reduce oil production. So, kalau you rasa kulit you sangat oily, you can try Cypress. Uh, and lemongrass as well. Uh, and lemon dengan ada citrus oil yang I explained tadi. For uh, fountain of youth. Uh, this one, I've been searching for fountain of youth, youth since, uh, for so long lah. Because, I want to embalm my skin. <laughs> so, um, 
uh, founder of youth um apa uh, frank lavender rose geranium uh, sandalwood myrrh and helichrysum you kenal kan the oils kan you rasa macam familiar kan because uh, oil ni semua ada dalam immortal So daripada beli saya satu, baik beli Immortal. So I'm on my second water of Immortal and I love it so much because I feel that my skin tightens up and kulit jadi lagi cerah, uh, lagi uh, kurang um, spots lah. I mean dark spots pun kurang with Immortal. Um, and dulu I guna Helichrysum saja, Tapi bila I guna Immortal, Immortal ni macam wow dia lagi is a booster lah, lagi best lah, lagi hebat lah daripada you guna helichrysum sahaja. Uh, ilang-ilang, carrot seed oil pun bagus tapi carrot seed oil kita tak ada, doTERRA. Uh, I use carrot seed oil juga dulu for mature skin. Uh, it's good for reducing um, age spot as well. And Yeropom, oh I love Yeropom. Yeropom ni like Wow, <laughs> because dia actually, you bila you pakai je, you rasa kulit you macam pakai botox. <laughs> it's so good and it's so moisturizing. So, Yeropom uh, is a staple lah. I, I kena pakai Yeropom every day. Okay, alright, next. Uh, so, this is like some some uh, basic recipes lah. Kalau for normal skin, you boleh guna jojoba, sesame oil, pomegranate oil. Uh, pomegranate oil is very good because dia ada puninic acid. Puninic acid ni actually uh, it helps. Uh, dia macam is a very potent antioxidant. It helps uh, in reducing wrinkles. That's why I cakap tadi. Sebab dalam Yeropom ada pomegranate kan. So, pomegranate ni itself will uh, help in like reducing fine lines. So, yang akan rasa kulit ini memang sangat plum, sangat, sangat, sangat um, macam botox lah basically. It's a liquid botox, my mom kata. My mom memang sangat suka pomegranate oil, I mean, Yeropom. So, essential oils, you can uh, incorporate uh, rose, geranium, uh, Roman chamomile, uh, fennel, lavender, pecholi, sandalwood, semua boleh lah. Uh, for combination skin, combination skin, mana ada tempat yang oily, ada tempat yang dry, boleh juga guna jojoba hemp and pomegranate for oily skin uh, boleh guna hemp sunflower oil EPO actually EPO evening primrose oil ni will help balance your your hormones as well so kalau you rasa you punya breakout to caused by um, hormonal imbalance macam you ambil um, apa contraceptive kan you caused by hormonal imbalance kan naik banyak breakout you can try EPO EPO pun boleh ambil orally as well Uh, tapi kalau guna on skin point, okay je actually. I think the comedogenic level is around less than 2 lah for EPO. So you can try. Okay. Uh, for dry skin, cocoa butter. Actually, butters on facial skin macam is a little bit no-no because uh, cocoa butter, I mean butters, dia punya comedogenic level dia quite high. Tapi uh, for dry skin, I find that cocoa butter is very good. Kalau you rasa kulit you sangat dry, macam sampai flaky sangat, pakai benda lain pun tak jalan, just use some cocoa butter. Sikit je, tak payah banyak. Just dab, dab, dab dekat tempat yang dry tu, dia akan resolve in no time. Um, apa, cocoa butter pun bagus untuk under eye treatment. Uh, you boleh add uh, sheer butter as well for under eye treatment. Add Yeropom. Wow, Yeropom is great for under eye treatment. Dia memang akan hilangkan, kurangkan you punya dark circles and also you akan rasa kulit you lagi smooth lah. Okay, mature skin, uh, I don't think grape seed lah. Tapi boleh lah kalau you nak guna grape seed, you combine with other oils yang berat sikit. Uh, macam um, argan, uh, you boleh tambah rose hip as well. Bagi I macam kalau you nak buat uh, oil for face, you guna base you yang um, yang tengah-tengah tau. Macam I cakap jojoba tadi, very balanced kan. You boleh guna jojoba because dia ada uh, balance oleic and linoleic acid, uh, acid content. So macam uh, jojoba tu as base. You guna banyak sikit jojoba. Yang lain tu you add on based on your skin punya condition. Okay. Uh, for eczema, uh, I rasa bell. Uh, bell memang pandai lah pasal eczema. I tak pernah vent I tak pernah buat sangat eczema oils because I tak pernah, I tak ada masalah tu kan. Uh, tak siapa pernah tanya I sangat pasal eczema skin. So, 
maybe Belle can share nanti pasal eczema skin dia guna apa. I know that she use uh, RC, Roman Chamomile and it's good. Um, and also uh, Heli eh, yeah. Belle. I pun tak sure. Nanti Belle cerita eh. Okay. So my favorite, uh, I dah ulang banyak kali, my favorite is Immortal and also Europa. My god, I love this. Because satu Immortal ni ada semua combination of the oils that are very good for your skin, that anti-aging uh, and also yang yang apa uh, make your skin clear tau. So Immortal ni, um, you tak payah nak beli satu-satu oil untuk tambah-tambah. I know it's expensive but it's good. And uh, for me, dia cause my skin to uh, apa, uh, kurang kurang breakouts. Uh, and so, dia buat my skin clearer and lagi cerah sikit. Uh, so, Immortal is great. Uh, I guna Immortal for stretch mark as well. Uh, my I baru bersalin 2 bulan lepas, so ada stretch mark sikit. Uh, I guna Immortal for that. And I find that Immortal reduce the stretch mark uh, very well lah. Kurang banyak lah. I guna Immortal as deodorant, baru guna and I think it works great. Uh, I know it's expensive tapi it's, it's great lah. Memang bagus. You dilute it. Kalau Immortal satu botol tu dilute um, one mil per uh, one mil in ten mil of um, carrier oils. So you boleh dapat 10 botol. Uh, banyak lah you boleh guna kan actually. So berbaloi. Uh, kalau Europom ni memang I use it every day and i use europom uh, directly on skin ada orang uh, add into carrier oil tapi europom ni sebab dia dah ada carrier oil dia ada pomegranate oil to as carrier oil so i just use it ni i use i mean i use it directly lah i tak 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 uh, blend with other oils dah and i use it every morning and night dua kali sehari uh, memang macam i cakap tadi lah it's liquid botox very good Okay, recipes. Uh, ni yang I guna bila uh, orang datang ke I tanya, eh, ini nak guna apa? So, usually I guna grapeseed oil and rosehip oil for acne. Uh, 70% grapeseed, 30% rosehip. Uh, and you can add uh, your oil of choice. Uh, my oil of choice are tea tree oil, lavender and frank. Sebab so, for me, frank ni dia promotes clarity for the skin. So, your skin jadi clearer bila you pakai um, and I dilute in 10 ml roller water uh, skin embalming so I kita nak embalm the skin earlier kan sebab tak nak bagi saggy tak nak bagi ada uh, wrinkles uh, this is my ratio for my oil because my skin is like normal skin so this is my ratio kalau you macam I ajar tadi awal-awal kan kalau uh, you tahu you punya own skin So, you know what oil to use for your uh, carrier oils. Uh, you choose sendiri lah. So, I use 70% jojoba, 20% argan, 10% rosehip, and also 5 drops in water and 5 drops YP. It's enough in 10 ml uh, roller bottle lah. Okay, uh, this is my favorite. Ada orang yang uh, tak suka pakai um, apa kita panggil soap-based cleanser. I mean, uh, yang ada foaming cleanser. I tak suka pakai yang ada foaming cleanser because I think it strips off um, the oil from my skin. So, my skin akan jadi sangat dry. I memang tak boleh pakai. So, I buat my own skincare. I mean, I buat my own cleanser with honey and glycerin. Okay, honey and glycerin. Okay, honey ni sendiri adalah um, dia panggil um, dia humectant. Glycerin pun humectant. Dia akan tarik uh, air into your skin. So, your skin akan jadi more plump and uh, kurang kering lah. And honey ni pun dia boleh uh, bersihkan kulit as well. Uh, sebab tu orang dulu-dulu guna honey untuk bersihkan luka. Tapi um, you pakai on skin pun macam it's very good actually. So, I guna uh, 70ml uh, honey, 30ml glycerin and I drop in my oil of choice lah. Usually, I use geranium, tea tree and cypress. Kadang-kadang, I add on some uh, frank as well. Uh, ikutlah, I rasa kulit I macam mana hari tu. So, I make in um, 100ml water. Tahanlah juga dalam sebulan, dua bulan for honey and glycerin ni. Um, I akan pakai, dia macam pelik sikit. So, ada orang yang tak yang suka 
kulit uh, I mean uh, yang suka foam kan So orang yang suka foam akan rasa pelik sikit Bila pakai glycerin cleanser ni Sebab dia tak foamy Tapi you pakai, you leave on for 5 minutes so, Macam tu, masa you mandi-mandi uh, Better kalau mandi macam air suam kan So nanti you cleanse dengan air suam tu You basuh balik dengan air suam So you akan rasa kulit you actually rasa bersih Lebih bersih daripada pakai um, apa foaming cleanser Um, for scrub, I use uh, green tea and oat scrub. I add uh, 50 grams of green tea and 50 uh, 50 gram of blended roll oats. Wah, uh, ini best. Sebab apa? Um, roll oats tu dia provide macam macam uh, apa scrubbing lah dia mild scrub. Ada orang tak boleh pakai scrub yang keras sangat kan? So this is mild scrub lah actually. So you can add on some tea tree and also lemon. Tapi jangan pakai uh, before uh, going into the sun lah. Sebab lemon ni uh, apa nama will cause burn to your skin kalau you pakai into the sun kan? Okay. Next, mud mask. Ah, mud mask ni ah uh, one of my favorite juga. Bila I rasa kulit I macam, macam terlalu uh, tak nak react to any any skincare products. Sebab uh, kadang-kadang kulit kita macam dah you pakai satu benda tu lama-lama, kulit kita tak nak react dah pada produk tu kan. Betul tak? So, mud mask ni, actually mud ni itself, dia will reset your skin. Dia reset balik dia. Akan tarik all the impurities. Dia akan tarik semua benda yang dah clog into your skin And then skin you bersih, you boleh pakai balik All the serums yang you biasa guna And dia akan jadi macam berkesan balik lah uh, So I love mud mask and I don't use it frequent I use it like once a month Bila I rasa kulit I dah, dah macam Dah macam degil tak dengar cakap kan So I guna mud mask uh, So ada banyak um, apa clay to choose from Red clay, pink, white Uh, yellow clay, ada green clay Macam-macam lah Tapi uh, you choose based on your skin type uh, You can add on anything you want Honey, glycerin, any carrier oil you like uh, Jojoba is my choice of oil And uh, I love geranium Because bila I pakai geranium Kulit I rasa lagi uh, terik dan, dan macam pinkish tau So I love geranium in my mask Um, otherwise, you can also buy yang uh, doTERRA punya mask tu. Uh, I never tried that. I will try that after this. Maybe I think it's good for your your skin as well lah yang tu. Okay, so kalau malas buat sendiri. Kalau malas buat sendiri, boleh beli je lah directly. Uh, HD Clear uh, is for acne prone and thin skin. Ataupun memang kalau you acne prone, you boleh guna uh, HD Clear lah. Essential for all skin types, anti-aging and newly formulated. Uh, oh, dia, dia newly reformulated, sorry. And uh, Virachne for sensitive skin, anti-aging. I never tried this. Maybe I will try this after after this lah kan. Ha, ah, okay. For this month, for anyone yang tak pernah en- yang tak enroll lagi, I don't know whether ada orang yang tak, tak enroll lagi. So, this is a very good um, duo lah. Uh, Immortal and Clericum. So, Immortal, I... Uh, explain just now for your skin it's great for your skin clericum ni kalau macam you nak guna untuk uh, hormonal imbalance uh, during that time of the month uh, untuk untuk reduce uh, you punya apa uh, apa tu namanya uh, sakit sakit uh, masa period kan uh, so this is great dapat lagi diamond club special also lavender touch uh, cypress yang uh, macam saya cakap tadi cypress is good for your skin untuk um, balance the oil production and lavender point uh, boleh guna on skin as well okay